Ah, hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel uh, where I'm going to show you, uh, uh, we're going to learn on how to use different tools uh, uh, for uh, in our systems. So we're going to start with the very basics uh, and uh, at the end of it, uh, what we want to learn in this course is how uh, we can integrate a payment platform uh, to our web application. So we're going to create uh, a Flask-based web application uh, that will have uh, a simple API uh, that is linked to uh, M-Pesa uh, SDK push uh, API endpoint. Okay. So as you know, uh, Safaricom uh, offers uh, an endpoint uh, that we can use uh, to be able to integrate uh, web applications uh, with M-Pesa. So we're going to use a, a Flask, which is a Python-based uh, web framework uh, that can uh, help us uh, to create a simple web application and then uh, with the web application, we are able to push uh, payment requests uh, to uh, a subscriber's phone and they can make payment and uh, we'll receive notifications from uh, M-Pesa. So to start with, uh, we're going to start with the first thing, uh, uh, which uh, we call it basics uh, in software development. Uh, we're going to store our code somewhere online. Uh, which is uh, uh, cloud storage. So we're going to use uh, Bitbucket, which is a, a free platform for at least five users, where we can store our application uh, uh, just in case uh, something happens to our laptops or our PCs, we'll still have access to our code. So I'm going to show you uh, how you can create an account on Bitbucket. Uh, you register uh, or you create what you call public keys uh, that can be used to push, we call it push or copy our code from our laptop to the cloud server for storage. With this, you are able to, you can, you can share this code uh, with your friends, with your workmates, and you can collaborate uh, while uh, doing your yeah, development work. So let's start with registering for Bitbucket account. So we're going to visit Bitbucket. So open your favorite web browser. And, uh, and in my case, uh, I'm using uh, Linux, which is Ubuntu. Uh, but you can ac access using any other uh, operating system. So for this tutorial, we're going to use uh, Ubuntu uh, for for this application that we are developing. So access Bitbucket, then get a free account. Okay. So click on get a free account. Uh, put in your email, then your name and a password. Okay. So when you hit on sign up you get a uh, notification on your email uh, to verify your account and then you can uh, log in to your account. So I've already created this, so try it, put in an email address, then uh, your name and a password that you're going, you're going to use uh, on Bitbucket. Okay, so with that, let's uh, I assume that uh, you have created an account, so uh, you can now go to login. So uh, I put in uh, my email. And continue. I'll put my password. Then I log in. Yes. 
so here I'm logging I'm logged in to uh, my bit bucket and I can create a new project by clicking on create button so create a new repository okay so workspace I select my workspace and then I can create a new project name where uh, this case we are calling for ask I'm Pesa API and then you can give it the same and Pesa API okay then create your repository okay so once you create your repository uh, what you need to do is uh, to be able to access this uh, on your on your local host uh, you need to give uh, uh, to get access from Bitbucket or to access Bitbucket through a public key so we're going to create a public key on uh, our local uh, PC or our laptops so we create a public key that we can use to commit or to push uh, items uh, on this uh, particular uh, repository that you have created okay so now uh, open your terminal so uh, on Ubuntu you just click on terminal or you search for terminal okay yeah so here we are so once you open your terminal uh, you choose uh, where you want to create uh, or to copy uh, your code that you have created or your repository that you have created on Bitbucket so you can navigate to a folder so how you navigate in Ubuntu uh, you see cd or current directory then for a uh, for a demo let's put it uh, in uh, a folder that I've created so I'm calling it uh, I'll do a uh, okay uh, sorry So here we can make a new directory. put your password so you can navigate to learning okay there we are so now with this uh, what you what we want to do is uh, now we have where we want to store our code so let's now create our public key so how do you create your public key uh, that you're going to use uh, on Bitbucket Okay, so there are uh, steps uh, that you follow. So the first step is to make sure that you have SSH keygen uh, installed. So if you don't, uh, try typing this. SSH keygen. And you can see uh, that the system uh, automatically shows you uh, where you can generate your public private key pair. Okay. So if this doesn't work on your laptop, let me cancel that. Uh, execute this command. Open SSH server. Okay. So you can learn more about Open SSH server uh, by going to Google. 
learn about this server okay so if you visit this link or you just type open as a search server uh, you will be able to uh, learn more details about how to use open 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 search server and uh, and the different uh, use cases of this uh, particular tool so open search server is a is a is a uh, technology that you use uh, when you want to uh, push or when you want to share uh, uh, your code where you want to call to save your code online and it's secure so in a secure manner so you want to be able to uh, to write your code on your machine and then you can push it on a server uh, securely so to be able to secure that between the communication between the server and your and your laptop or your machine you use ssh uh, uh, which is which will help you uh, to secure uh, your code okay so once you have that installed so of course you'll uh, execute this command okay so once you execute that command you install uh, OpenSSH on your machine. So once you install uh, OpenSSH on your machine, uh, the next thing uh, that you do is to use uh, SSH to generate a key. So it's a, it's called a public-private key that can be used. So execute this command. Accept the default so that you can save it in your home directory okay so then once you do that you can now uh, access uh, the directory where you have copied this so you can list the keys that you have saved so ls is a command that is used in ubuntu to list so when you do that you can see uh, the different keys that you have so you have uh, the private the public key and known hosts that have been saved okay so you can copy now the content of the key you can choose to either open the file you open the file or you just uh, copy using the cut command in ubuntu so here you change to the key like that so when you enter it's copied on the clipboard so this one okay so we have the public key that you can use to authenticate ourselves on bitbucket so you copy this you go to bitbucket account so settings access keys you can add a new key so you can give it uh, and then you paste the content okay add ssh okay so once you do that you can now come uh, go to the repository that you have created you do uh, a git clone so a git clone when you do a git clone is like you are getting a copy of the repository on your machine so you copy this let's use it yeah so change to https because you already have the keys so just type this command copy enter so permission is denied so you let's change this directory to uh, so that we can uh, we can type things there so yes so we type like that 
So now we can change or alternatively is uh, to change to change the ownership of the directory to this current user instead of changing this mode. So now we can pull, let me clear this. We clone. Okay. So password. My bit bucket password. There we are. So you can see we have our repository. So now let's try to add a new file that we can copy to the repository. So we type uh, we can either use the command to create a new file automatically or we can navigate to this directory and add a new folder. So I go to my computer of directory this folder here then I can just say 